imagine. Right, many thanks for keeping us company. If you just tuned in, this is Y254 discussion. Monday tonight we will be looking at the political drum beats that have been ongoing with only three years to go. And we have our politicians here and they are trying to drum up support. And the question is, should we be having politi uh, politics at such a time? I'm speaking to Ngunjiri Kajuki. He's a political analyst. How are you, Ngunjiri? Uh, thank you very much, Hirali, for having me tonight. You're welcome. Yes, we have had uh, a long weekend mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, traversing three counties, mm -hmm. or is it four counties? That is uh, Nairobi, Vika, Moranga, up mm -hmm. to Kirinyaga. All right. In yes. these four counties that you are traversing with it, uh, were it, were they political issues or something personal? Of course, we have uh, what we call public opinion on the ground. Mm -hmm. This is basically what people feel and the attitudes that uh, the citizenry have towards the government. All right. Yes. Now, we have only three years to go. We had the general election in 2017. Uh, those who won, won. But now we have groups of people moving around, uh, politicking. Yes, yes. And our president has been very undermined. Let's work. Yes. Uh, terms for... Uh, Politics will come, yeah. but that has not been happening. You Should see, you be having this? You, you see, what we have been having is basically two groups. That is the Kieleweke and the Tangatanga. Tanga. Mm -hmm. The Kieleweke team is a team that claims to be the mouthpiece mm -hmm. of uh, His Excellency Uhuru Mwikai Kenyatta, right. while the case is otherwise. The president has not given anybody a job to be his spokesperson. All right. On the other hand, we have the Tangatanga Tanga team, which is drumming up support for the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. Mm -hmm. And in that case, uh, then perception has it that these guys mm -hmm. are campaigning early. So let us try to dissect these two issues. That is the Kieleweke factor and the Tangatanga Tanga factor. Number one, the Tangatanga Tanga factor mm -hmm. becomes a nuisance when we have members of parliament that uh, are following the deputy president to each and every corner of this country. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a freedom of movement. Mm -hmm. We must be careful because they also have their constituencies. During weekends right. is uh, an opportune time to meet with the electorate right. and go and uh, hear their concerns, attend barriers and water views. Mm -hmm. But these MPs have defied the natural call, which is why they went and seek a mandate from the people. All right. So I think that uh, as long as we continue having leaders who are not going to their constituencies on weekends, mm -hmm. perhaps what we should be talking about, because the deputy president is a national figure and uh, he's the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, he can move to any corner as he wishes. Right. But at least those adjutants, that is the MPs in the Tangatanga Tanga team mm -hmm. should go slow because mm -hmm. the deputy president has got his team. There is a, if he's going to uh, Moranga, for example, let the member of parliament who is the host, mm -hmm. let the neighboring member of parliament also come. Let the governor be there, the women representative, the senator also be there. But now when we have somebody coming all the way from Isioro to Moranga, mm -hmm. uh, then that one becomes a campaign. All right. On the other hand, the Kieleweke team is advancing a narrative uh, that, look, the deputy president is disrespecting the president, mm -hmm. while we have not had the president complaining of his deputy. Right. So we get a Kieleweke team that is trying to control the perception that, look, if you don't do the line, All right. then come 2022, we will not grant you what you want. Okay. So the Kieleweke team is taking advantage and capitalizing on the president's silence All right. up, uh, upon his deputy moving around and using that opportunity to advance an agenda. All right. In a short term, I would, uh, I would label that Kieleweke team as agents of deceit. On the other hand, the Tangatanga -tanga team, mm -hmm. I would label them as as uh, empty rhetorics. 
All right. Yes. But now, uh, you just said the president and the deputy are together. It's only the groups, the groups, the, the Tangatanga and Kieleweke, the, they are the ones who are bringing the perception that there is no unity. But then, would you say, because we have not seen that, would yes. you say the Jubilee House is divided? Remember, we have a government that was elected on a Jubilee ticket. And that the majority is, of... Yes, that comprises of the executive and uh, each and every body that is within the executive. Then we have a party, the political party, Jubilee. All right. Remember, Jubilee has never held any grassroots elections ever since it was started. We only had interim chairman, we only had interim uh, county chairman, interim organizing secretaries, what have you, what have you. We have never had elections from the grassroots. Okay. So when I look at the architecture of the Jubilee Party, I can see a problem because politics of realignment, as J Donald J. Dalton, a political scientist, would uh, infer in his book, Citizen Politics, mm -hmm. are somehow complex. And when the citizens and when the citizens' interests are not captured in the political alignments mm -hmm. that get into the elections, then yes, the candidate that they like would in a high probability win that election, mm -hmm. but the people won't have their hearts within that party. So what is happening in Jubilee mm -hmm. is that it is a party that has a very nice office along Tangani. <laughs> it is a party that has a secretary general, mm -hmm. is a party that has an interim chair, is a party that has not mm -hmm. a vice chairman. I don't even know who is the chairman of Jubilee. I think he is not uh, active at all. After he resigned, yes. We don't have county representatives. We don't have constituency representatives. We don't have ward representatives. And on the various occasions that have spoken even within this state broadcaster, I've always said, let the Jubilee Party hold its primaries. Uh, no, not primaries, but uh, grassroots elections. Actually, with all these attributes, yes. is Jubilee Party strong enough? Will that, it last? That, that is where I'm coming to. Mm -hmm. Without a very nice foundation as a political party, mm -hmm. then you are bound to fail. And the only cure, mm -hmm. and I'm happy because... Uh, I saw the Secretary General of Jubilee uh, 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 respond to such concerns when he said that they are going to start a political party academy and also hold elections. So for me, mm -hmm. as a young public intellectual, I would wish to have a country that has two or very few strong political parties mm -hmm. that are built on ideologies. All right. So that when there will come a time perhaps I want to seek the mandate of the people, mm -hmm. I will have certain beliefs and I will align myself to a certain political party because I believe in its traditions, mm -hmm. but the case is otherwise. All right. Yes. Now, uh, we are just speaking of the Jubilee Party, but just recently, actually over the weekend, we saw the former CS for Sports HSA now supporting uh, Honorable Musali Mudavati, that is ANC now. They are now uh, with uh, Cleopa Malala, the senator for Kagamega. So they are supporting now the ANC. And they put it clearly, we want to be there yes. on 20, uh, when 2022 comes in. Yes. Now, the question is, they have been claiming the Jubilee House is campaigning. Yes. And specifically, the Tanga Tanga team, they have yes. been like, these people are campaigning. Yes. But now they have joined the wagon. Should the narrative change? Uh, let me say that, uh, of course, politics is a game of interest. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is perception that works in the politics. Mm -hmm. Facts really works. All right. So when you have a guy like Rashid Echesa, who was a very close adjutant of the deputy president. Right. And not once he has declared his intentions to support the deputy president in 2022. When you have him decamp to Mudavadi's ANC party, then you see a situation of 
you know he's uh, he comes from uh, western mm -hmm. you see a situation whereby the western people want to make an in-house overhaul they want to have a rejuvenation of their own community because when you look at uh, uh, the political traditions of the Luya people I think they are the second majority in the country mm -hmm. but have never been united every time that we have an elections ever since the days of Kijana or Malwa right. they are always looked at as a swing vote so when I see them align when I see a Chesa align himself to ANC mm -hmm. then I see an in-house rebuild but again mm -hmm. we must speak and speak loudly to shun any political empty political rhetoric that is happening in this country especially at this epoch because we are three years to the next general election yeah. when i look at advanced democracies Hillary, right. and these are countries like the united states mm -hmm. and do a comparative political study i get my country as a phenomena i i have never understood what happens in my country we are we have finished an electioneering period but people have begun to realign themselves again no work can politics happen never at ends such in an environment mm -hmm. however politicians are paid to politic All right. but what i always and i will always be against is those empty political rhetorics let if people are going to traverse various regions of this country let them go and build a school mm -hmm. let them go and build a laboratory right. let them go and build a bridge that is what you want mm -hmm. but this is a politics of doing press conferences answering who i don't know who is answering who mm -hmm. those are malignant to our economy right. and we cannot wish to have a, a heightened political temperature so what i would wish to see if leaders that are given the mandate by the people right. to work let them work even if they are going to they are traversing various regions of this country let them stop the 2022 narrative because i can assure you the people on the ground are bitter True. what they want to see is development and they want they of, of course they already know who fits the bill right. and who will not even be mm -hmm. a multiple choice for them All right. so what we want now as a country is development and development nothing else nothing else now as a political analyst we saw uh the opposition one of the opposition leaders that is uh Kalonzo Musyoka joining with um, Gideon Moy. Yes. And now it's like they want to work together. He has his party. Yes. Gideon has Kanu. Mm -hmm. Now, are we seeing a unity between Kanu and uh, Wiper? <laughs> okay. In politics, anything is possible because we normally say that uh, there are no permanent enemies All right. in the politics. And who could be the uh, flag bearer? Uh, look at it this way. I saw Gideon Moy yesterday was invited mm -hmm. I think in Machako in uh, Ukambani mm -hmm. and uh, that is a signal and as you have seen when the handshake happened mm -hmm. in March uh, in Nine. March uh, between the president and Raila Odinga it was 9th March yes mm -hmm. there was something called the building bridges initiatives true an amorphous group mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, has no provision in the constitution yes we agreed as a country to affirm peace and uphold peace but this building bridges initiative group already has an answer to what they wanted to achieve which is and like you will see mm -hmm. the the means let me not say the end will justify the means the means mm -hmm. will justify the end mm -hmm. they want a referendum all right and in this referendum they have already given themselves an interior mm -hmm. of what will happen mm -hmm. and already i know in their minds mm -hmm. they already know who mm -hmm. can be the prime minister mm -hmm. 
who are the two deputy prime ministers all right and uh, who are the others okay. in the top cream of that leadership all right when you had kalonzo musioka during his father's burial i think mm -hmm. uh, lament that nitakuwa mtu wa mkono wa uhuru kenyatta right that was a signal that we will do this and by view of the handshake is that it has always been good but one thing mm -hmm. that people have maybe not uh, taken into account is that Raila Odinga is a smart politician and what he did mm -hmm. he did was what we call a cost benefit analysis mm -hmm. that yes i will agree to join you but. and i will agree to moot my political activities mm -hmm. but at the end of it i'll have something i have something mm -hmm. an open check all right so already they know that uhuru kenyatta is the only person the president is the only person mm -hmm. who holds their political future on his palm right because if he's, he decides to support the referendum and as the political spokesperson of the mount kenya region mm -hmm. then chances are that perception in the mount kenya region will shift to that direction mm -hmm. so kalonzo has seen a leeway that if uhuru supports the referendum and in the guise of inclusivity then it is going to be a deal done and right. in that case the deputy president who depends on the, on the mount kenya region mm -hmm. will have been fixed so they already i know Mm -hmm. There is already planning, no. and, uh, and 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 the politicians will never sleep. I know they, they they always think about their political future. So when you see someone like uh, Gideon Moy visiting Kalonzo Musyoka, mm -hmm. this is a gesture uh, that the two of them could in for a, could be in for a coalition, mm -hmm. and especially if what is being talked as a change of the governance system mm -hmm. would fruit would, would be a reality now at this point would you say because it has been denied time and again since its inception would you say the handshake was a sabotage to one of the politicians the handshake was not a sabotage to one of the politician mm -hmm. the handshake was a pact uh, that will be remembered by generations to come mm -hmm. that two antagonizing sides can shelve their political interest mm -hmm. and join together for the sake of this country. But did they sh shelve their interest anyway because we are seeing them trying to contest in other means? I, I'm saying you asked me whether it was a sabotage. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, of course, in between, mm -hmm. there are people who have vested interests. Right. And as you can see, the referendum issue, mm -hmm. it is not a miracle, Hillary. Mm -hmm that now his excellency uhuru mwegai kenyatta is a good person to the nasa people mm -hmm. is not a miracle mm -hmm. so they have what they want to advance all right and this is a political card setting of 2022 what has changed this is the same president whom they competed with mm -hmm. and ask yourself and i even invite kenyans to ask themselves mm -hmm. why would they be opposed to the deputy president right and yet play darling to the president it's all about political interests exactly the president has had, had good intentions mm -hmm. when he shook hands with the late honorable Odinga. Mm -hmm. so we are going to experience interesting times ahead again before i forget yesterday something happened in my county muranga county right in a church in uh, Kandara constituency whereby a member of the Kieleweke team mm -hmm. got a hostile ground in a church mm -hmm. first of all let us not break the oracle remember this is a holy place this is a place where we are supposed to go and worship True. and go on our knees before our maker mm -hmm. we are not supposed to go and do any kind of chaos but the politicians the claim it is the only time they could have a moment with their electorates 
and, and remember, remember, the church has a position because the church is the moral compass of any society. They must fit in the rightful place in the society. So the church must not allow leaders that are sparking divisions amongst a peaceful people a podium. They must not be given a podium. If somebody is given a microphone and they start digressing to division and politics of hate mm -hmm. and empty political rhetorics, All right. let them be stopped. And I'm happy, of, but, but, but not, not, not to support hooliganism. Right. I'm happy that we have seen it on several occasions certain leaders being stopped from speaking. True. Because those are politics of division. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. As we come to an end, are you for the referendum? And do you support the ongoing politics? Wow. Am I for the referendum? Mm -hmm. What I can be able to say, at least for this moment, mm -hmm. is that uh, a referendum could be inevitable at the backdrop of the circumstances uh, that our economy is going through. Of course, there are discussions of reducing the number of members of the August House. Mm -hmm. There is also a discussion of reducing the wage bill. Exactly. That could be the discourse that I, as Karyoki Ngonjiri, would want to be involved in because, in a way, is a discourse that credits Wanjiko. Okay. Any other discussion mm -hmm. uh, that seeks to create positions for people, mm -hmm. I would not be in for that. So what I would advise, yes, we are talking of inclusivity. And uh, there is that discourse of the expansion of the executive. Mm -hmm. But is it only the, the expansion of the executive that would cure the problems that are bedeviling our country? No. Let me give you an example. Right. And this is uh, a problem that has been tested some years ago, I think mm -hmm. over a century ago. Uh, is it a, not a century? Over half a century ago, right. in the current day Germany, mm -hmm. there was a country then mm -hmm. known as the Weimar Republic, mm -hmm. whereby power was concentrated at the center and there was no checks and balances. Mm. The Nazis were given all the powers by the people. All right. And the fruition of that was the fall of the Weimar Republic. That is in the wake of the end of the Second World War. Mm. So let us not have a situation whereby we have very strong powerhouse okay. at the top. And then we have a centrifugal forces of power are concentrated at the same center. Because in a way, mm -hmm. when a prime minister is in government and when we have a president, mm -hmm. then that one means that, that that is one government. Again, we don't want to have a situation whereby mm -hmm. a representative of the people comes from parliament. Because in such a case, mostly, mm -hmm. even in advanced democracies, the president, president mm -hmm. is in charge of the foreign policy. All right. And the prime minister Our is in is charge up. of the domestic <laughs> policy. So we want direct representation. If it is inclusivity, we have positions of cabinet secretaries. All right. Let us not satisfy an ego of few people All and right. sacrifice the future of our country. If we don't sacrifice for our country, All we right. shall be the sacrifice. All right. Thank you so much for your sentiments. And many thanks back home for keeping us company. He has been my guest, uh, Karyuki Ngonjuri. And now coming up next is why Mashariki ICDJ TSK is very much ready. So keep it Y254. Have yourselves a good night. My name is Deleva Hilary. Oh, 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 oh,